Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the final kickoff show of season three. Destiny is finally here. Everyone will reach their potential destiny. At Destiny, we're kicking off with the final kickoff show of season three. Amber Haas, a mainstay in the women's division, will be taking on Cynthia Garrett, another mainstay in the women's division, versus Kimberly King, another mainstay. All of them making their name essentially here in Gulf Coast Wrestling. Here in a final match, in a final triple threat match for the kickoff show. Amber Haas, Cynthia Garrett, Kimberly King, all ta very, very talented women here going to put on hopefully a great, great match to kick off the kickoff show and hopefully maybe set a tone. And of course, you see we have our great columns sitting out. We are outside once again, ladies and gentlemen. Sure, it may be cold outside, but we're in Florida, so it's okay. Hopefully, anyway. But we started on the very first pay-per-view, Starbound, outside. And we're going to finish it the same way we came in. That's a pretty cool image right there with the whole columns and whatnot. It'd be cool if they were on fire, but I can't do that. Anyway, Cynthia Garrett, the resident high flyer of Gulf Coast Wrestling, rivaling Io Shirai. Of course, those two have not had a match. Could very well happen sometime during Gulf Coast Wrestling Dark. Which, might I say again, the first episode will be December 25th. Is Saturday? Saturday? Saturday. Saturday. War Games comes on tonight, so I'm making sure no, I'm not going to record over anything. But Cynthia Garrett... Great wrestler, great talent, great potential going toward the future along with Amber Haas and Kimberly King. Kimberly King was on the cover, on the pay-per-view cover, of Uncensored, of course, when she took on Tessa Blanchard for the Gulf Coast Wrestling Women's Championship after becoming the number one contender. On the same night that, of course, Aries and Kennedy Kid had a rematch for the title. But here, Kimberly King now, coming out here, the former queen of the kickoff, sort of, I guess you could say she graduated, she may be returning here, but for the final time, she did sort of graduate when she joined, of course, the uh, women's main events at Uncensored. Had a huge, huge title match, the biggest in her career thus far, came up a little bit short, but doesn't mean that there isn't a women's title run in her future. Kimberly King, of course, big, big, talented woman. Not a big, talented woman. She has a lot of talent. That's what I tried to say, but that didn't really fucking work. Anyway, triple threat match time. Amber Haas, Cynthia Garrett, Kimberly King, kicking off Destiny. And we start with Cynthia Garrett running right after Amber Haas, but Amber Haas getting a reversal. Headlock to Amber Haas. Amber Haas, the more, the more veteran of the three. Big takedown there by King. King, of course, trained by her husband, the dashing one. Big DDT now. Amber Haas... Uh, it's trained by Ricky the Steamboat Dragon and Cynthia Garrett trained by Chris Jericho. Big Hurricane Rana there. Russian leg sweep now by Amber Haas. All three women have great potential and definitely need to, uh, or definitely are going to put on a very good match. Amber Haas, like I said, the more veteran of the group, used to be known as Callie White, but ditched that former persona in... And now it's being called Amber Haas. Another big DDT by Kimberly King. Taking her, taking her into the ropes now. Cynthia Garrett back to her feet. Kimberly King with a reversal. Elbow right to the midsection. Pop up baseball punch by King. 
taking Amber Hoffs out of the ring. Might have concussed her. What? It was a huge punch. I really don't like the top-down view. Whenever someone rolls out of the ring, they should be out until they come back. Because this is it's just an odd view. You're used to looking at it from one side, and then all of a sudden we're on top like we're playing GTA or something. It's a strange view. Irish whip now Bamber Haas, who's made her way back into the ring, taking out Kimberly King, but Cynthia Garrett with a forearm taking down Haas. A rake, it looked like, with her feet to the ears of Haas. Turning her attention back to Kimberly King. Pack back, back, pack back, backpack position, face buster, I think. DDT by Garrett, who's coming out on top, leveling both women. Fireman's carry. Kimberly King back to her feet, going after Cynthia Garrett as well. Big punch right in the head, going after her again. Pulling her into the corner, Amber Haas just biding her time. Kimberly King sees her waiting around, arm drag. Right to Haas, kip up. Drop kick now, taking down King. Cynthia Garrett didn't realize, Amber Haas didn't realize Cynthia Garrett was back up. Back in the backpack position. Now a submission, will Haas tap out? She breaks it, elbow to the top of the head and arm drag. Cynthia Garrett backed with the upper hand. Three three women, of course, like I've said, have innumerable talent. Putting on a good one here so, thus far. Going for a stun gun in the ropes, hanging her up by her stomach. Cannot feel good at all. Goes for the pin now. Of course, this match is only pin or submit. And you don't even have to be involved in the final decision. It looked like a Scottish sickle there by Amber Haas. Goes for the pin. Cynthia Garrett right there, though, to break up the pin. Amber Haas now going after Cynthia Garrett. Big slam there. Pump handle slam. Kimberly King might just be out. Drop kick takes to Cynthia Garrett. If Amber Haas were to hit a big move and pin, Garrett might be over. Going for an abdominal stretch, but Cynthia Garrett there to save Garrett. Let's say Cynthia Garrett there. Kimberly King there to save Garrett. A big, big kick there by King now. Might have just knocked Haas out. Garrett on the outside of the ring, too, and a kick out. Kimberly King needs to act fast if she's going to want to capitalize on it being a one on one. Amber Haas, though, able to capitalize. Pile driver! King, though, trying to get back to her feet. Garrett taunting Garrett, or Haas taunting Garrett on the outside. I don't know what's wrong with my brain. Can't get a name of guillotine there in the ropes by Haas to King. Now another pile driver almost on top of King, but Garrett popped right back up with a kip up. Might be due just to adrenaline. Step up into Gurry now. Kick to the back of King. Now it's just the two alone between Kimberly King and Cynthia Garrett. Snapmare gets reversed. Punch. Catching her off guard. Turn her right around into a wild punch. Haymaker almost. Snake eyes almost in the corner. Kick to the midsection. Garrett now. Lackadaisically putting King up on top of the rope. What could she have in store? Doesn't look good, whatever it is. A hurricane run into the center of the ring. Amber Haas picks her time, gets right back in the ring. But Garrett flips out of it. Now the punch right to the top of the head. The kicks to the hamstring. Haas has gone down. Now just completely stomping her over and over and over. King now, trying to get back to her feet, while Garrett is just going ballistic on Haas. Now a forearm taking down Garrett after a barrage of stomps. Haas climbing to the top rope. Haas elbow drop right to Cynthia Garrett. But Kimberly King standing right there. She's going to break up the pin. And she does with a senton, but okay. Haas grabs King though, able to capitalize. 
Irish whip, right to the ropes, atomic drop. Kane rolling out of the ring. Amber Haas with a Russian leg sweep to Cynthia Garrett. Drop kick now. Amber Haas seeming to dominate here. Kimberly King's on the outside of the ring. She's calling for Garrett to get up. This could very well be the end of it. Big suplex there by Haas. Does not go for the pin though. Instead goes for a neck breaker. Kip, kip up though by Garrett. Might have been a mistake not to pin. Northern Lights suplex into a beautiful arc. Haas this time kips up. But Garrett though catches her. Haas catches her. Reversal after reversal. Goes for the pin. King though able to stop it. Reverse after reverse. But Haas able to capitalize on King. King back to her feet. Garrett though catches Haas. Into a crucifix bomb. Crucifix power bomb. Now King, who is chomping at the bit to get to Cynthia Garrett. Irish Whip throws her outside the ring, follows her after she got Haas looks dead. <laughs> how that how she's not actually dead, thank God. But the way that her body just contorted. Oh, big rolling cutter there on the outside by King. She looks dead on the inside, I'm not gonna lie. Cynthia Garrett with a reversal. Big clothesline taking down Kane. I, no countouts in this match. A technical extreme rules match. No countout being a triple threat match. An unorthodox match. Not a one-on-one. -on -one. Cynthia Garrett runs in after Amber Haas. Amber Haas, though, was ready for her. Grabs her by the hair. Throws her on the outside of the ring again. Haas, the only one standing in the ring. Goes to the outside. Now Kimberly King at the entrance over there. Might be out cold. Haas throws her back in the ring, shaking her up like a cart, like a jug of juice. I don't know what that means. Like Jim Ross with my analogies. Clothesline Scottish Sickle by Amber Haas. Picking the play, I guess, out of Noam Dar's book. King, though, making it in just before the ref starts his count, stopping the pin, prolonging this match again. Haas with a reversal. Pump handle this time. Pump handle slam on top of Cynthia Garrett. Brutal. Taking out both women almost. Sidewalk slam around the back. Backbreaker. Kimberly King climbing on the outside of the ropes. Reversal though. Roll up. Cynthia Garrett though just making it back to her feet. Perfect timing. Slam by King. Oh, lost in the woods. That could be it. That could be it here. Goes for the pin. Out of nowhere. One, two, and a kick out. Close, close right there. That lost in the woods came out of nowhere after taking down Garrett. Now the knees to the midsection. Haas going down. King grabbing, pulling Haas into the center of the ring. A stump now. Going for a big move here now. Face buster just about Garrett though. Right there to catch her. Arm drag. Cartwheel. Drop kick. Good God. What a combination. Combination by Garrett. This could be a big win for her. Over a former number one contender for the women's title too. And a kick out at the last second. Wow. King. Coming in clutch essentially saving the matchup. Kicking out when I thought it was over. I thought Cynthia Garrett had just picked up the biggest upset of her career. Off the ropes. Rainbow Cutter. Rainbow Cutter goes for the pin. Amber Haas though right there to make the break though. Cynthia Garrett though trying to go after Haas. A beautiful Rainbow Cutter by Garrett. Out of nowhere too. Throws her over the top. Garrett going after King though. Haas out of the ring, out of sight, out of mind. But King playing a bit of a possum. Kick to the top of the hamstring. Amber Haas, though, back in the ring. Goes right, gets caught by King. I think she meant Cynthia Garrett. But she got caught on accident. Reversal by Garrett. Amber Haas now out of the ring again. Cartwheel. Tilt-a-world backbreaker. 
Stomp to the arm. Now just working on the working on the other arm now. Kimberly King does use the Dragon Sleeper as a submission move, and if Garrett takes away her ability to use that move, then it could very well be good for Garrett and Haas. Not sure what the hell that was, but it was it it was just something. Another tilt to world backbreaker by King. An absolute brutal looking move. Haas back in the ring. Garrett on the top rope. Off the top of Frog Splash. Haas though, right there. Gonna make the break for the pin. Punch now. Garrett. Haas going at it. Garrett grabs her in a cradle suplex. Beautiful suplex there. Cynthia Garrett stepping to the outside. Getting back in. I thought she would go for some cool, but I guess not. Stomp to the arm now. Trying to break the arm almost of Cynthia or Amber Haas. She's doing good. Broke my straight. Collar and elbow tie up. Amber Haas pushes her off. Kim Kimberly King back to her feet now. Bounces off Amber Haas. Beast mode by Cynthia Garrett. Her back hurt though. Her back is hurt, causing Amber Haas to be let go. Now Haas with a pump handle slam to Kimberly King. Might have just taken her out of commission. Suplex by Cynthia Garrett. The pin. One, two, and a kick out at the last second again. A beautiful suplex by Cynthia Garrett out of nowhere. And the elbows to the top of the head. Cynthia Garrett, back to the outside. Please do a move this time. Nope, okay. Okay, cool. Amber Haas back to her feet. Kick away by Cynthia Garrett. Enziguri got reversed. It happened so fast I have trouble commenting. Big suplex there. Kimberly King with a rolling stomp to Amber Haas. That's really going to hurt the chest of Amber Haas. Picks her up into a cradle. Suplex! I had a big just manhandle on her. Kick to the midsection. Big DDT by Kimberly King. Just brutal move after brutal move. She has one of those like brutal move sets I've ever seen in a character. Rolling cutter. Rolling cutter by Kimberly King. Cynthia Garrett though. Trying to make the interception. Gonna make the breakup of the pin though. One, two, and Cynthia Garrett able to save the match once again. All three women though getting back to their feet. Amber Haas going after Garrett. Putting her on the ropes, now turning her attention to King. I her swept into the other corner. Punch right to the kidneys. Now sending her right into the turnbuckle. Stumped to the midsection. King, though, back to her feet, trying to get away. Abdominal stretch. Cynthia Garrett, though, making the save. All three women putting each other through hell. Trying to break the arm. So Scottish tickle. This is it here. This has got to be it here. Taking Cynthia Garrett out with a reverse clothesline. One. Two. And a kick out at two. Garrett. Finding some new founds. Adrenaline, it seems. Kicking out at two. Cynthia Garrett, though, with it gets reversed. Tilt to world neck breaker by Amber Haas. Garrett rolling out of the ring. Cynthia Garrett knows if she's on the outside of the ring, she can't be counted out and she can't be pinned nor submitted. Kimberly King back to her feet on the other side. Running around to the other side. Tilt to world neck breaker there. Tamber Haas, Cynthia Garrett throwing Kimberly King back in the ring. Getting back inside of herself. All right, don't know what that... Crossface out of nowhere! Beautiful! Got her right as she went back in the ring. Crossface, this is this could be it. Will she tap out? Will she tap out? Amber Haas getting to her feet on the outside. Kicks out of it. A beautiful, beautiful Mopele kick by Garrett. <laughs> wow. As she stepped in the ring, Kimberly King with a crossface suplex now by Amber Haas. 
Stomp gets reversed, overhanded punch right to the side of the head, kick to the back of the hamstring. Ember Haas with a suplex, kip up, sweet Jesus, <laughs> they can't kill each other, drop kick now, by Cynthia Garrett, good God, throws it to the outside, Cynthia Garrett, she's calling for it, she's calling for it, bounce off the ropes to the other side, through the ropes, good God, ah, <laughs> I'm popping for my own stuff, <laughs> Kimberly King, though, able to get back to her feet, throws Cynthia Garrett back in the ring, steps to the outside, goes back inside. There's always those game-breaking moments. Pile! Pi pile driver! No. Uh, package power. Power bomb! That's it. Power bomb. Limpter. Hamburg Haas makes it back in the ring just to be able to make the save for the match. Rolling clothesline takes down Amber Haas. Amber Haas, Cynthia Garrett now, Irish whip into the corner. Amber Haas with the upper hand. Picks her, puts her on the top, big punch. Trying to take Cynthia Garrett out of commission. Uh-oh, this can't be good. What has she got in store here? Suplex to the outside! Suplex to the outside of the ring. Goodness, Cynthia Garrett might just be incapacitated. But Amber Haas picking her back up. Kick to the midsection and insults injury with a DDT. Making sure she is good and out of commission. Amber Haas, Kimberly King, backdrop on the knee. Kimberly King was too busy taunting. Fist drop to Kimberly King. Amber Haas may just have this bag in the match. Drop kick taking down King. Needs to hit a big move here. Amber Haas. To work into the arm of Kimberly King, but Cynthia Garrett on the outside is somehow stirring. Kimberly King gets a reversal. Kick to the midsection. She's going for the dragon sleeper, but Cynthia Garrett just, just makes it back in. Immediately falls into the pin. Garrett, though, not paying attention to, and a kick out, well, sort of. Cynthia Garrett was able to make the pin. Huge arm drag. Huge, huge arm drag. Cynthia Garrett's outside the ring. She's rolled out. She's calling for Amber Haas to get back to her feet. Kick to the midsection. This has got to be it. The Dragon Sleeper. The Dragon Sleeper. Will Amber Haas tap out? Will she tap out? She taps. She taps out. Kimberly King picking up a huge, huge win. Kicking off the pay-per-view. Setting a tone for damn sure. I, not very many matches make me pop for my own products. But when I tell you that that was a, not, not a bet, for 2K20, just AI, that's a pretty good match. Congratulations, Kimberly King, picking up the final, final female win on the kickoff show. Beautiful, beautiful win. Congratulations, Kimberly King. Ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> the final match of Season 3's kickoff shows are returning Cassius Ono, Chris Hero. He will be in a kickoff show match against three other opponents, all who have some type of tie here to Gulf Coast Wrestling. Cassius Ono, of course, after being released from WWE, came to Gulf Coast Wrestling Challenge for the Best of the Indies Championship, actually. At stardom was fought Aries for the title. <clears throat> In a hard hitting match, very quick match, but definitely hard hitting. And now here tonight we will have a winner, who will pick up the win in the final kickoff show match of season three. Who will do it? Time will tell. After a belter of a match between Cynthia Garrett, Kimberly King, and Amber Haas, after an absolute belter of a match, we move on. 
swiftly into this match. A fatal four-way. And returning, Matt Hardy. Matt Hardy. Still, of course, in AEW. Did have some dealings with Gulf Coast Wrestling. Has decided to come back for one more match. In the final time for the kickoff show. After an amazing match we have just seen before. Hopefully these guys tear the house down as well. Although it is a hard match to follow. And I'm actually kind of proud of myself with the arena. Uh, arena? With the entrance setup. I think it actually looks pretty cool. Especially with Matt Hardy's like entrance and colors and stuff. And the columns do actually add nice. I like to brag on myself sometimes. So just shh. And I don't know about the arena. I thought the other one didn't have that. But apparently only. I don't know. Anyway, we're in that arena, and it's slam-packed. Thousands of thousands of people. Anyway, Matt Hardy making a return here to Gulf Coast Wrestling, possibly for the final time. After, of course, he is in the AEW, All Elite Wrestling. Mike Canellis, Mike Bennett, recently challenged Nick Aldis for the NWA title in a really, really good match, a strong match. Here tonight on the kickoff show of Destiny. Just because these guys are on the kickoff show does not mean they are sub-talent. It's not like in WWE where the people who I guess Vince McMahon didn't deem worthy enough to be on the main show go. Even just as we saw previously, good matches can happen on the kickoff show. Just because, for instance, a Mike Kanellis or a Matt Hardy or a Cassius Ono is on the kickoff show does not mean the very next time they could be challenging for a title. This could be the catalyst proving why they should challenge for another title. After that match, I wouldn't be surprised if Kimberly King is knocking on that championship, women's championship door one more time. But anyway, Mike Canales, like I said, challenging Nick Aldis for the NWA title just recently on NWA Shockwave. Giving a little promotion to NWA and All Elite, although they don't need my publicity. And then there's another returning, Ethan Carter III, EC3, of course, over an impact. Here, here again tonight, returning former internet champion EC3 is. Former TNA world champion as well. Won championships in many, many other places. Of course, one time ago winning the internet championship belt, beating the dashing one. For the belt. Definitely submitting himself here. In Gulf Coast Wrestling. Now he's returning alongside Matt Hardy. Cassius Ono and Mike Canales. Mike Bennett. For one more match on the kickoff show. For Gulf Coast Wrestling. A last hurrah you might say. EC3. Losing of course his internet title. To Aaron Unbreakable. His former friend. Challenging one more time for it, coming up just a tad bit short. If he shows good in this match and wins the match especially, definitely could set him up for another internet title opportunity down the line if he so happens to want to pursue it. EC3. We are outside, ladies and gentlemen. In the nice, crisp, cool air. Tampa, Florida. I don't actually know if the outside arenas get darker as the show goes on, but if it does, that would be really cool to eventually end it outside at night. It'd be really fun. If only we could do fireworks. That would be fucking awesome. Because this is our go home. This is our final show for season three. Final pay per view. I want it to be huge. I want it to be good. That first match. Wow! <laughs> Set a tone. Let's see if these guys can match a tone. Cassius Ono. Matt Hardy. Mike Bennett, EC3, and we start. Big drop, big knee, and goes for a headlock. Both guys starting out strong here. We got Bennett, uh, oh no, EC3, Hardy. It's going to be hard to commentate over all, all two, all four people. Stomps, punches from both men. Ooh, okay, screen shook. I guess someone's hurt. I think that drop kick to Matt Hardy might have rocked him a bit harder because you see he was holding his ear. Matt Hardy might have just suffered a concussion. 
via in-game rules. And of course, in a Fatal 4-Way, there are no count-outs. There are no disqualifications. They could just as easily bring out weapons. Oh, EC3 looks like he's been busted open. They could just as easily bring out weapons and turn this into a just grueling match. Snake Eyes into the corner to EC3. Cash is Ono going right after Mike Ben on the outside. Netbreaker. EC3 slides out. Especially this match. The kickoff. This will be the longest kickoff ever. I wouldn't be surprised if this is a 30, almost a 40 minute kickoff show. Which would mirror what WWE does. And they do two matches and have chit chat in between. But we have we would have 40 minutes of just wrestling. Which would be... Would it be better than WWE? I don't know. Well, that's to be seen. Well, another leg drop here by Matt Hardy to EC3. Canellis and Ono fighting up the ring. Up up into the entranceway almost. There's extraordinarily bright lights. I usually set them to white so it does kind of give off sometimes a heavenly glow. But I figured if it got dark outside, you know, at least you could see the shadow. Cash Dono has a square shadow. Yeah, can Bennett and Hero are fighting up the ringway while Hardy and Carter Hardy and Carter? Hardy and EC3 are fighting in the ring. Big DDT there by Matt Hardy. Suplex there by Ono. Grabs him into another suplex position, Hardy. Stumps the back of the neck on from Ono. You really just about can't commentate. This is like Usually there's two people, so two people watch both different action. They commentate like next to each other. One person says something like, EC3 putting Matt Hardy on the top rope, looking like he's going for a big move here. Well, somebody else would. Big suplex there by, oh no, to Bennett. EC3 with a cradle drop by to Matt Hardy in the middle of the ring. Goes for the pin. Here, apparently, Hardy's in the best health. If you look at like the health bars at the bottom, oh no has the second best health. Hardy has the first best health. Canales has the worst health. EC3 has the second worst. Now him and Canales are about tied. Although I don't know how. All of their overalls are just about the same. And there's snake eyes into the corner to EC3 by Matt Harding. I got a laser. It's really hard to commentate when everyone's looking two different ways just about. They're like slowly walking each other away. I don't know why. Maybe I should, you know, walk back into the ring before the camera screen splits. Or the guy, or the crane camera just explodes. Kicked to the midsection by Hardy. Picks him up like a child. Matt Hardy's back, though, hurt. Although he's, he actually has no damage on his back. Thought I was getting a phone call. I am. But it's, I, I can, I'm allowed to miss this one. Why? Just go back to the ring! EC3 and Matt Hardy are just going to win. Suck or punch right to the side of the head of Hardy. Although EC3's got a lot of work to do to bring Hardy's health down. Everyone's just on evil, evil, even playing field except for Hardy. That for some reason just has immaculate health for the most part. Oh, here comes Cassius. Here comes Cassius. Here comes Cassius right down the entrance way. Sorry. Elbow to the face of EC3. Bennett with an overhead punch, knocking Cassius Ono down. Now the rake of the face by Bennett. Right there next to the crowd. Picking him up now. Kick to the midsection. Hard EC3 with a big slam there by Hardy. Too Hardy. By two safely. Goes for the pin on Hardy. Two. And a kick out by Hardy. Bennett and Cassius Ono just fighting to beat the crap out of each other. Big back body drop there by Matt Hardy. Punch right to the face. They it's like they're allergic to getting near the ring. They just get close to the ring and then they just just don't. Oh, here comes Bennett. Yeah, right as I say, it gets right back in the ring. Suplex now by Matt Hardy. All four participants back in the ring for the first time in this match. Side effect by Hardy. And now since they're both here, they're gonna break up the pin on Hardy. Cassius Ono trying to break it up, but Bennett got in the way. Bennett got in the way of Cassius Ono trying to break up the pin, allowing Hardy to hold the pin over EC3. 
the very weird camera. EC3 was busted open. Oh. Matt Hardy picking up a surprise victory, you might say. Congratulations, Matt Hardy winning the last kickoff match of the season. Congratulations, Matt Hardy.